Okay, uh, thank you for showing up. My name is Andy Back. I'm the Planning and Development Services Manager for Washington County. Uh, before we get going, I want to introduce the two people who can fire me in the room. So, Andrew Singalakis <laughs> is our director, and Steve Franks is the assistant director for the department. Uh, first off, I want to go over the development forum purpose. So, uh, we have over there, you see development forum goals. So, we have three bullet points there. So, the first one is just to share some information. Uh, about what's going on in the department and uh, new things that are happening. Second and uh, very important thing is to hear and learn from you about your view of how things are going. And probably the most important to me is just to foster the relationships with you. So certainly uh, the formal presentation that we do over the next hour is important but uh, what's really important is hanging out afterwards and just getting to know you. I, I've said this before, but we know that um, when we're upstairs and you're actually applying for permits, you have something in mind and we have something in mind. Uh, so we know that that process goes a lot better if we can just deal with you and know you as, as human beings. So. Uh, we, we want to emphasize that, that part of it today. So let me give you a little bit of uh, update on where we've gone and what's happened over the past six months since we've met. And again, we do these forums uh, twice a year. So on the staff uh, level, we've hired uh, six new people in building since we last met. I, I won't go through all of them, but I will mention one. We do have a new senior uh, building inspector. His name is Tom Kogan, so some of you may run into him as you do your projects over the next few years. Uh, in long range planning, there's uh, one new planner, and in current planner, we have three, and I want to introduce one of them if she's here. Jenny, are you here? Jenny is the new senior rural planner, so those of you who um, had the privilege of interacting with <coughs> Terry Lawler, she is retired and Jenny has her position now. So she's a good person to know if you want to do anything outside the urban growth boundary. Uh, since, uh, let, let me kind of summarize some of the activity. Generally things are up about 20% over where we were last year, and last year was pretty busy too. So just to throw some numbers at you, um, year to date over the last year we've had more than 45,000 uh, inspections. Um, we've, we've served more than 4,000 people at the counter, and the actual land development applications um, are up 20%. So things are busy, we've added staff, but we're still um, working pretty frantically upstairs, frankly. Uh, let, me, let me go over something called the nature of our work and our role. I've read this spiel uh, just about every time. I, I'll share a little story with you. In fifth grade, uh, our teacher had um, everybody in the class lead the Pledge of Allegiance and that you would rotate. And then I had a friend, Carl Erickson, who by the time February rolled around, um, you know, he had done it about six times. He looked at the teacher and said, I want to do a different one. I'm tired of this <laughs> Pledge of Allegiance. So I'm going to read the same, uh, same thing that I've done in the past, but I know some of you will go, I've heard this before. So the nature of our work is to be your partner, to get you through the process and meet regulations. It's important to note that we are regulators. We are here because development code and building codes are on the books and is law. It is a partnership with you, but also with our citizens who expect us to implement these regulations. It's not a productive debate whether or not they should be on the books, nor do we debate neighbors who want more regulations. Our job is to be your partner to get you through the regulations I know the term regulator may have a bad connotation for some of you, but to me it means we are your partner to get you through the process to meet the regulations. 
not exceed the regulations nor waive the regulations. It's important to emphasize the partnership, but it's also important to recognize the fundamental truth that we wouldn't be here if the regulations weren't on the books. And so with those provocative comments, uh, let me go over the agenda. Um, first, Jim Elam is just going to talk a little bit about uh, the county survey office and uh, things that you may get involved in uh, the, uh, when you're developing and uh, interacting with the surveyors. Uh, Derek Moon is here to give you an update on electronic plan review. Uh, Wayne is going to talk about the neighborhood meetings uh, regulations. And then Steve Kelly is going to talk a little bit about transportation development tax. Um, and with that, I want to note that through all of the presentations, Steve Franks is going to uh, sort of moderate, and if you have questions, uh, he'll sort of lead, lead those activities. So with that, I'll turn it over to Jim.